Hi, Hiram here. Today I want to do a little test on the uh, grill top stove from canteenshop.com using an old sterno can that I filled with perlite. Now I had it pointed out to me that I didn't explain what perlite was the last time. I use this stuff all the time for my wife. She does gardening. and We use this stuff a lot for uh, making the dirt better. It's basically just an amorphous volcanic glass that you can get in garden shops. Just a white, very light, uh, granular type thing that doesn't burn. It's just a natural glass type thing that uh, heat was applied to it because it has, it has a lot of water in it in its nature, natural, yeah, natural state and it just fractures it all up. So I like this better than using fiberglass. Fiberglass tends to melt, it seems, and burn up when the alcohol is running low. This stuff doesn't seem to have that problem. Uh, you can get this almost anywhere. Base hardware, they sell, it's so light they sell it in quarts rather than by weight. Uh, I think it costs like 5 to $6, something like that depending on the size. Uh, comes from miracle Grow, so just make sure that they don't have fertilizer or anything in it, that it's just plain perlite. So what I have here is I put perlite in a, an old can. The perlite with the can weighs about 23 grams or 0.8 ounces or 0 0.05 pounds, very light. With the alcohol in it, it weighs 48 grams, that's one fluid ounce of alcohol, is 48 grams. 1.65 ounces or 0 0.104 pounds. Now a sterno can isn't the only thing you can use. It's just that they're, if you have them, they get emptied and they're handy. But you could also use like the candle tins that you've seen me do things with. It has a nice top on it. If you wanted you could seal it off with a ranger band to hold the top on if you have some residual alcohol inside. I wouldn't store this so much in your pack with alcohol in it, not a large amount, but instead of having to burn it off completely, you could just seal it off something like this. I'd still carry my alcohol in alcohol bottles. It's just that, like I said, you don't have to worry about burning it all off and wasting alcohol. So, <clears throat> I have one ounce, one fluid ounce of alcohol in this. I really would have liked to have put more, but that's what the other tests have used. So we'll see what happens. Just light that. Now if there's an interest, I'll do more tests on the perlite stoves, with or without perlite, and comparing what the times are like, if there's an interest in it. Put the grill top on. For the first part of this test, I'm going to do it without the bolts. I like using the bolts. Oh, that was another question. I have stainless steel bolts here. Let me put this on and get it going. Two cups of water at 60 degrees. I had questions, does it have to be stainless steel bolts? No. You can use whatever other bolts you have. They'd be lighter but I use stainless steel because I probably do more tests and more burnings than a normal person would do. So I like using the stainless steel because it'll hold up. But you could get, you know, regular galvanized bolts or screws. Just burn them off a couple of times before you, you make sure you don't breathe in the fumes. So, with that said, let's see where this goes now. There we have 210, 
to 12 at 16 minutes 17 seconds let me see how long this takes to burn out and I'm going to call it at 29 20 29 minutes 20 seconds just have the barest of flames in here but it's still keeping the temperature up to 214 it hasn't dropped yet so that's what 13 minutes wait 16 29 yeah 13 minutes it's it's gone past boiling so you definitely have safe water Still just a little bit of a flame there. Okay, I'm going to cu cut this out, let this cool off, and redo the test using the bolts. Be right back. There we have 210. 12 at 1712. This test was with the bolts. Uh, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Got to boiling in 17 minutes 12 seconds, which is almost a minute longer than without the bolts. But I think I have some other problems here. One. last time this burned it boiled water without the bolts it boiled water in 16 minutes 17 seconds but it continued heating burning for 29 minutes 20 seconds one thing I think I have a problem with is one fluid ounce of alcohol in this isn't enough it's like the perlite is holding on to the alcohol and won't let it go so it makes it burn real slow might be a good simmer type thing I think I should try this again maybe with two fluid ounces in it or more and see what happens because when I just dumped alcohol in there it really gave a nice flame. The other problem is, I don't know, can you see it there? It's making soot and I usually don't get, ouch, ouch, ouch. I usually don't get soot uh, using alcohol so it means something's wrong. Either I don't have enough burn height from the top of the can to the bottom of the stove there they are or I'm not getting enough air through the bottom maybe I have to lift this up so that air goes underneath and lets everything burn but can you see that right there there's a nice patch of soot I don't know if it's on the canteen cup No, nothing on the canteen cup, so it's all within the stove, within the stove stand. But even so, that was kind of strange. It took a minute longer with the bolts than without. Hmm. Got to think about that, and maybe I'll have to do another test or two. So anyway, that's using the old sterno can with perlite in it, that uh, volcanic glass stuff. It's a replacement for fiberglass in the stoves. 
and other stoves, I've noticed that when the alcohol gets to running out, the fiberglass itself seems to burn or melt. This stuff doesn't. I can't. Oh yeah, it's just barely, barely burning there. But even with when this runs down, can you see that it's still all white? Fiberglass would get black and melt and stuff, and this is still loose and burning. Don't do this at home. So, like I said, I'll have to think about this. Maybe do another couple of tests. If there's an interest in it. I'll do more tests on perlite stoves, either with something like the sterno can or any tin that you can get. Any nice tin can be used. But I think it's probably best if this doesn't run out completely that you leave a little residual alcohol in there and then just pour in more alcohol. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.